Hi friends, this is Marilyn from tarotclarity.com again. Today I was reaching for my um, Taroko Bissaro to use um, for readings over on my Instagram account. <clears throat> in, in case you're interested, my Instagram account, I have two. One is the Tarot Reader and the other one is Tarot Clarity. But at any rate, I was reaching for this deck because I was in the mood to use it. And um, it occurred to me that I've never done a video of it. And I thought I'd rectify that right now. Um, it's a fun deck. It was created by um, Franco Bruna, an Italian caricaturist or satirist, cartoonist, um, known for his satirical cartoons of, you know, political um, people, uh, athletes, um, you know, uh, Hollywood type, or or not necessarily Hollywood, but, you know, like uh, famous people, like in movies, you know, um, actors. The booklet doesn't, is written in Italian and English. Um, it, it's a little bit, you know, it is descriptive of the, of the, uh, Trump cards. Um, I don't know if it's still available or not. I, I don't know if it's out of print. And I think when I looked into it earlier, a couple months ago, I think Mr. Bruno has passed on. I think he has passed away. I don't know if the deck is out of print or not. I don't know. It's um, published by Del Negro. Their boxes leave a lot to be desired. Um, I see what I mean. It's like you know, a mess. Um, and the and the and the boxes are really huge. I mean, the deck doesn't occupy a fraction of the size of the deck. And I kept the bill of sales in there, you know, to, to give me some space so that the deck isn't as floppy. But at any rate, here's the deck. The card stock is nothing to write home about. Just really very, very thin. Um, yeah, it's 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 not it's basically terrible card card stock. But the cards themselves are pretty fascinating. I believe um, it's like a tongue in cheek, um, uh, you know, attempt to recreate the tarot to so make it like. You know, it, like an irreverent tarot deck. Um, and I think it's interesting. We have the first card, the Fool, labeled as zero, as the Italians often do. Uh, and, and he appears with the butterfly. And the very, very first time that the butterfly ever appeared in a tarot deck... It appeared in a Piedmont deck. It appeared in this deck, the Veronano, 1832. The very first appearance of a butterfly. So I thought I'd throw in that <laughs> little trivia there. So we have a fool. He's got his dog biting his shorts. It's probably not his dog. He's got a wide collar. Very theatrical. He's got his butterfly net. Hmm. And the butterfly's on his nose. <laughs> Il gato. He's got a cube of what appears to be highly reflective or mirrored cube. He's commanding the water to pour. His he's hands off. I'm not sure what that thing is. Hmm. Looks like a snail. The female pope. She has demons. Oh my goodness. She's got the requisite triple crown, the veil, the book. She also has demons. I don't know if this deck 
and uses caricatures of famous people known to Italians. Um, it didn't say anything like that in the in the descriptions. So this woman is formidable. I think twice about approaching her. My goodness. And she's got an association with the moon. So the emperor. I don't see his shield. The Pope, the wise man with the white beard. I don't believe that the emperor has a white beard. He has a gray beard or a dark black beard. <clears throat> a man of wisdom has his key and his orb. Liamati is plural, I've learned. <laughs> so it's the lovers. <laughs> the chariot. He's victorious. You really get a sense that this guy is celebrating his own glory, right? And a chariot that actually works. Justice. Bare bosomed. Cross legged. <laughs> She's like, whatever. Oh, wow. The crow. Ah, oh, the snail back. Wow. Here he has a lantern rather than a sun glass, hourglass. He's got a very long white beard. He's been around a while. The wheel. Oh my goodness, the monkey's defecating coins. <laughs> The other baboon like creature turns the turns the wheel. Hmm. Fortitude. Yeah, and the lion has given him a run for his money. <clears throat> Hercules may win, but not without a good fight. The hanged one. Hanging at night. Hmm. I want to see the hanged, uh, excuse me, death in this deck. If you could indulge me for a second. I was looking to see what direction. and how he carried his scythe. Temperance.
He also has a white beard. Interesting. He's been around a while too. So in this tower, the sun is blowing the fire. We have one person falling. We have but one dog, no crayfish, a tree, and the moon. Oh, they're frightened. And I probably and I won't go through the, the pips as I did for the um as I did for the Trump cards. I'm not crazy about the batons. They kind of look like octopus or squid. Here's the valid or the page of batons. Now he's got a dog. The knight. Queen and the king. He also has a dog, huh? The Ace of Cups is very much in the tradition of the Piedmont style cards. I'll pull the Ace of Cups of the Vernano. So it's kind of like a, it's definitely a nod to the tradition of the Piedmont, at least in the full card with the butterfly and the Ace of Cups with the beautiful flower collection. Of course, here we have an additional king and queen. Um, whereas the Vernano, um, you know, has what we would call the Marseille tradition of arrangement, um, we don't see that in the, uh, in the Bruno or the Tarot of Bizarro. Okay, here are the court cards of the cup suit. I, you know, when I do readings with this deck, and I don't use it that often, you know, yeah, I just have to really, you know, the right, the right occasion to use these, you know. Um, but it's kind of fun, you know. It's fun to use these cards. 
especially maybe if somebody's, you know, asking about how an evening might go, right? It seems to be a suit that would be kind of fun. Oh, a cricket. Huh. Lots of bugs associated with the suit of coin. With the denarii. So there we have it. I hope this has been fun for you to see a deck like this, which is a little bit unusual. We don't typically see decks that are irreverent to tarot, but everything to everything has its place, right? Everything has its place in the world. And uh, given this, the right question and the right circumstances, this could be a fun deck to use. I hope you've enjoyed this this uh, this video, and until next time, friends, stay well. Peace.